Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Alana and I am fresh off of doing Vlogmas 2023 and I am feeling ready to keep going. was such a big year for a lot of reasons. The first one, <laughs> I'm such a cheese ball. I'm wearing my wifey sweatshirt and obviously that was probably the biggest thing that happened to me in 2023, which was get married. It was such an amazing celebration and I'm so grateful that all of our family and friends that were able to come could come and celebrate with us like the whole weekend from start to finish and I'm just really excited about key to my future and all the stuff that we're going to be doing in 2024. You know, this is actually my first full year back living in Virginia after living in New York for like five years, five plus years. And you know, it was a hard year in a lot of ways, adjusting back into the lifestyle of Virginia versus New York. But overall, it's been really lovely getting to have like more time with my family and my friends and getting to celebrate all the big and little occasions that we were able to celebrate together because I was local. I love watching these videos online of like people's favorite items. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to go through my list of my top 13 items or things that I used very often in 2023. The first item are my kitsch heatless hair curlers. They come with these two hair scrunchies and then I believe this is satin or it's very soft fabric too. <laughs> and it's actually how I curled my hair today for New Year's Eve. Um, and then I also bought this clip. And if I'm honest, I'm not great with beauty type stuff. So like using a curling iron or putting individual curlers in my hair just like doesn't work for me. And so shout out to Anita. Anita wore them at a lake house weekend that we had and I saw her hair in the morning and they just looked incredible. And so I went ahead and purchased them for myself and I do not regret it. I will put them in with some mousse and then like two or three hours later, hairspray it up, take them out. And then my hair is usually very curly and will last for like several hours, if not even to the next day at certain times. My second item is a reusable lighter. Pretty big on environmental type things. And I also find these really fun. Um, it's basically like an electric lighter and you can use it several times before the battery dies. And it just is very fun. <laughs> and it works really well. And you know, just plug it in with the typical, I think it's USB-C and you're able to keep using them, it's amazing. The brand that I have, I got from um, Amazon called Eric Tech. I'll try and find a link and I'll put it in my description below. I am not like a super f fashionable lady. My vibe usually is cozy. Fun fact about me. I do feel like if you have staple items that you can wear a lot or use a lot, then I think these help me feel more put together and appear like I have some sense of style, even though I don't have much. So the first one is actually a bag I got from TJ Maxx. Um, the brand is Aldo, and it's just like a small um, purse that has like a large body strap. I use this every single day, and it fits a good amount of stuff, and it's so versatile. It's not this bag. The other bag that I use is my Coach bag and I love it. As you can tell, I'm very, I like items that will go with almost any outfit. And this one is super big. It's really nice. It has three inside pockets. It holds so much stuff. I feel like it's an it's something that this actual style of the bag is one I wanted for a really long time. And so it was a very exciting Christmas gift. The next item that I used a lot this year is the Libby app which is the local library's like electronic book and audiobook collection. I think it's incredibly genius of the library to make this available for their patrons. And I was able to not only hit my Goodreads reading goal, but I surpassed it a little bit. What I do with the Libby app is I listen to audiobooks, usually like nonfiction, and then at the library, which is another place that I go a lot and I love, I will get 
um, physical books and read more fictional physical books and then non-fiction audiobooks. Similar to the Libby app, another series of websites that I go to on my phone every day are the puzzles that I do. Almost every night I try and do the Wordle, the Quirtle, Connections, the Waffle, and I like to do the New York Times Mini. And it makes me feel smart. <laughs> But it's also like really fun to challenge yourself and test yourself and see how you can do on all those puzzles. So that's another thing that I've loved this year is doing those daily puzzles. My next item on my list that I love, definitely the most expensive item, which is our Breville espresso machine. We put it on our registry and it is now something that we use at least five days a week. <laughs> and it makes such good coffee and it's been really fun to kind of go back to my old barista roots and make latte art and just kind of get into the like art of coffee making. It's been really fun. And I do think we're saving money by not going to coffee shops, so I love it. My next item that I've loved a lot this year is a food item and it is balsamic glaze. I got into this partially because of my next item, but Pete and I really got into eating Caprese this year and my most watched reel ever on Instagram was when I made caprese and I drizzled balsamic glaze over the tomato, mozzarella, and basil. And I just love the flavor. I'll put it on salads, I'll put it on random pasta dishes, I'll put it on a cheese board and like drizzle it over cheese and crackers. Like, I just love this flavor. I also am in love with my arrow garden. We got this last year from his parents, my in-laws now, it's so fun to say, um, as a Christmas gift. And we grew basil, mint, oregano, and I think another one. But the, but it, and it was just such a great thing because we live in an apartment building so we can't have like a garden. And it was just really fun to have fresh herbs. And we made a lot of caprese because we grew a ton of basil. And right now it's empty, but in our new apartment, we are very excited to get this back up and growing. And we currently have basil, dill, and parsley in here. And then this one's really fun because you can grow anything um, with these pods. You can just put any. So we would do tomatoes or peppers or, I don't know. The options are endless and it's very exciting to feel like a homegrown farmer. My next category is one that Pete teases me about a lot because in the morning I will usually have like three different cups <laughs> at my breakfast table because I love beverages. I'm always dehydrated, but I always have water next to me. One cup that is my newest cup and that was that has been in frame for this entire video so far is my Stanley that Pete got me for Christmas. It's beautiful. It keeps my water nice and cold. Some people may say no, but I disagree. I think it will go to the height. It's easy to carry everywhere. I do feel like it's made my life better than it. getting it. But yeah, I love this cup. And then if I want like another cup of water, this was a cup that I used before I had the Stanley and it kept my water so cold. I would put ice in it in the morning. I would leave it even in the hot car during the summer and it would keep it cold the whole day. It's by... Um, Mars, M-A-A-R-S, and I don't know how, I, it must have whatever same technology than this um, because it keeps water so cold and fresh and if I don't feel like bringing this big one around, I will be using this or I may fill both every day just so that I'm drinking, I think this is, I think it's like 20 ounces and this is 40, so 60 ounces. If I drink two of these a day, it's 120 ounces. I'll be so so hydrated in 2024. Very exciting. Then these other two cups, I got these partially because I have an influence. There is an Instagram or YouTuber or TikToker named Lucy Fink and she used these glasses and partnered with a company called Janet Gwen. And this is the bubble cup. And then I think it's called like the unicorn, like kind of luminescent and like kind of a rainbow color. And then this one's just fun because it looks like, you know, like a coffee cup you got at like a local coffee shop. And I use, will use this for coffee. And then if I'm going to have like a collagen drink, I'm trying to get my nails stronger. I'll put collagen with some kind of fun, like flavored powdered drink in it, in this cup. Water, coffee, 
and then my collagen drinks. Maybe the perfect combination um, of my daily cups. The next thing that I love is Pete has been a good influence on me because he encourages me to wear my sunglasses so that I don't burn my blue eyes when we're outside. These are Tom's and I have always loved Tom's. I just love the style of these. I feel really cool in them. And like on the top it says give, it says give good. I just think they're really neat and stylish and fit my face well. And I think timeless, like I'll probably buy more of these if they either ever break. I will link these in the description below. Similar to taking care of my eyes, I am trying to get better at taking care of my nails and my hair. I have been taking biotin on a very regular basis. I have very thin nails and I've had them my entire life, just very paper thin, they peel like crazy. I'm trying to be very good with biotin. I've also been taking collagen as I mentioned before, as often as I can remember because I really want stronger nails. I've been wearing fake nails and they're not smart to use, but they're very festive and so trying to use biotin to kind of counteract this. Which then also brings me to, I have been loving press on nails. I know they're not good for my nails. I got three different kinds of Christmas ones. I'm trying to avoid glue, either just press on, so I feel like they're easy to come off. I think glue will be harder. Um, and until I get better with the biotin, I am trying to be a little bit more conscious with my nails, but I bought these because the color was so great. The final like category of stuff that I've loved this year is all the stuff that I use to make these videos. I am currently filming on my Sony ZV-1F digital camera. This was my wedding present from Pete, which was so incredibly thoughtful for him to invest in this little hobby of mine. And so I use this camera along with my Apple iPhone. And then I have the Samsung T7 Shield hard drive, which is what I edit on. And then I have a Manfrotto tripod. And then for like all my thumbnails and a lot of like my um, YouTube intros and social media posts, I use Canva. So all of those together have really been like the tools that I use a lot and what I have used a lot in the past. The last little section of the video that I wanted to include was look towards 2024 and kind of go through my resolutions and what I want to work on and what I have want to have more and less of. So items, things that I want less of is social media, overfilling my calendar and spending money. I feel like I oftentimes feel stressed because I've planned too much in a week and then I feel obligated to do things which also means I have to spend more money. So I wanna try and work on all of that. And then even though I'm working a lot more on YouTube um, and little reels and shorts, I really still would like to reduce my amount of social media. So kind of work on social media just to create and not to scroll. Although I know scrolling can help with creation. Then I want to encourage more creativity better sleep, and then confidence in connecting with people. So as I'm trying to apply to jobs and move forward in my career, I want to sleep better. <laughs> I think that'll be just better for me all around. But then also have more time to be creative and reach out to people and connect with people. So those are things I'm more and less list. Then for my resolution, I want to keep track of my food better. I want to do less mindless snacking. I'm a big late night snacker. And then I want to try and meal plan so that Pete and I don't have to cook every day. We've kind of been getting into that as the year has ended. And I kind of want to just make our week easier. Then I want to get back into running. I really, I've gotten, I've done more like weight training. And while I'm starting to like it more, I don't love it. And I think I'm getting bored with it, um, which is hard to get myself to the gym if I'm not excited to do it. So I want to mix up that weight training, which I want to continue with for sure with some running as well as some bar or yoga or Pilates or stretching or dance. I'm also hoping to do more dance in the new year along with hopefully sign up for a half marathon to kind of jumpstart that goal and motivation to get that goal achieved. I really, really, really need to get into a good night routine. I think the one area of my day that's really the most chaotic is my evenings and the fact that like I am a night person. My like average bedtime is like 1.32 and I really know that that's not healthy because <laughs> I wake up early too. Like I, I really just like to be awake as much as possible if I'm honest. So I want to get into bed at 11, do my little puzzles, <laughs> read, 
and journal and then try to be to bed by 12, 12.30 at the latest. That is kind of my goal. Manifesting that to be my routine in the new year. Then I would really love to be more consistent and show up for my creativity projects that I'm basically showing up for myself because this is all really for myself. I'm not getting paid to do any of it. I really just find it fun to kind of work on this hobby that has grown to be kind of cool to work on and satisfying to complete every week or every month when I do it. And so I wanna really try and put out two videos a month if I can, several reels a month, and then like one or two blogs, like write written blogs, and then potentially create a podcast. I've had this idea for a really long time, like over a year, and I've actually recorded two episodes and I would like to like learn to edit those and then make more of them. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited about that. And then the final thing is self-care. And I really wanna make sure I take the time every week, even when it gets busy to work on that. So like skincare, I need to drink more water. I need more sleep. I really wanna get back into journaling. I've really fallen off my bullet journaling and I love, I love having my bullet journal to look back on. And so I need to get back into that. I'm excited. I think this new year is gonna be a good one. We have a lot to look forward to. And I'm excited to kind of keep making videos and hopefully showing up as much as I can for myself and for these projects that I've kind of started. I would love to hear what your resolution may be. So if you want to, I'd love for you to put it down in the comments. I hope you all have a lovely start to the new year. So I will see you all soon. Bye.